Hey, welcome back again to another marketing tutorial with Archie Rogers. So um, I mainly produce content on uh, marketing strategies, um, uh, marketing tips, and also post-production content. So basically, those are the contents that we produce on this channel. So if you are interested in marketing or if you have your, um, your startup business or maybe some kind of business that you've been struggling with, with the marketing like I would say subscribe to this channel stick around like follow this channel we as time goes we will continue to produce more marketing videos to help start our businesses um, in, 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 in expanding and also to help them with their own marketing strategies so that they can know what are the red tools needed and what are the best platforms that you could use and also the best uh, practices to help your business grow so basically those are the things that we cover on this channel so for today's video um, uh, I will be explaining more on three best um, platform that you could use as a startup in terms of promoting your brands or your products or services you offer so like I said um, this channel mainly focus on um, startup businesses or small businesses or upcoming businesses so if you have a startup you're running and you've been struggling with um with your marketing like this video is going to be helpful this video is for you i'm just going to cover three main platforms that you can use to promote your brand promote your services and promote your products and i'm going to give you reason why these platforms are going to be helpful in making your brands visible or making your product visible or making your service visible to customers it could be new customers or existing customers so stick around as I drag you through three best platforms to use for marketing so guys just before we get a little deep into this tutorial let's first establish two things right let's establish what is marketing and what are the two kinds of marketing so what is marketing that is the big question the big question is what is marketing okay so to summarize everything so marketing is all about customers marketing is all about making your brand visible to customers marketing is all about getting your brand out there for people to see it marketing is all about how your customers feel marketing is all about what your customers want so in essence marketing it's more customer center i repeat in essence marketing is more customer center and that involves how you hope to reach out to them or how you want to reach out to them so let's take a typical example if you have um a brand or let's say you have a product specific products that you are selling or specific um, services that you are offering and you want to reach out to people let's say you just started that's why i say i mainly focus on startup businesses because like most of them they usually struggle like when you just started a business you don't know where to start from um how to reach out there so if you don't know all those things you struggle with sales like you will invest a lot into the business and you cannot get any profit from your business and that's the worst thing that can happen to any startup so you want to know the right information the right tools the right platform and the right thing to do to get your brand out there so people only purchase your brand when it is visible to them but when your brand is not visible to people how will people purchase something they are not seeing how will people gain trust in something they are not seeing so for people to purchase the brand firstly they need to see it for people to gain trust into in, in your brand they need to see it and experience it before they gain trust in your brand or whatever you are offering as a business as a startup so that's all about marketing marketing is about making your brand your services or your products visible to other new customers or existing customers so that like, that's where your niche comes in niche is like your target audience who you want to reach to there are certain products it's not for everyone not just said like certain things you are selling is not just for everyone 
There are certain things is for specific kind of people. A typical example is NAC. So NAC products usually it tell us towards a specific kind of people that are interested in physical fitness, people that are interested in sports. So these are those are the, the kind of people that NAC their product usually um, focus towards. So the same applies to every brand. So as a startup, that's one thing you should take into consideration your niche. Learn to find your niche before even thinking of launching your business or whatever it is. So coming back to what I was saying, marketing is more of customers, your brand and your customers. So there's a big difference between sales and marketing. Don't confuse sales for marketing. So there's a big difference. Sales is more of the product. So sales is just about the product. How you want to sell your product that just sells but marketing is not just about your product marketing is about your customers that experience customer experience like how your customers feel about your brand like what your customers want and how to give them what they want how to get the right thing and give them what they want in terms of quality so that's marketing like customers is more customer center but for sales it's just product how to sell that just product so that's the difference between sales and marketing. So again, like I said, there are two types of marketing. You have the traditional marketing and the digital marketing. But this video, this video is going to focus more on the digital marketing. So the traditional marketing, that's the one you have uh, television, uh, radio broadcast, magazine, newspaper. So that is the traditional uh, marketing. So for that one, I'm not saying it's not effective, but because of digital marketing now, like it's easier to get your products or your brand out there to make it visible to more uh, customers, other new or existing customers. And there are lots of tools that you can use to make that achievable. But for the uh, traditional marketing, it's effective, but the process is a bit long and it's kind of stressful as compared to the digital marketing. So most people now, they prefer using the means of, uh, digital means of marketing, like using um, social media platforms. So like once you get the word digital, it's like online platforms, so that's digital. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Google, all of these platforms. So you use it uh, to promote your brands and to make your brands visible to new customers. So keep in mind, the traditional marketing is different from the digital marketing. So like I said, this video will go more into digital marketing. And coming back to the three platforms that I talked about when I said uh, three best platforms to use as a startup to promote your brand or your product or your services. So basically, uh, um, I'm gonna be specific as much as possible. And I'm gonna give you some key reasons why these platforms that I'm gonna list uh, is gonna work for you. And there's a way that you will have to make it to work for you. All of these platforms, that they have tools available, but you should know how to use it. If you don't know how to use it, obviously you won't achieve any results. So if you wanna achieve uh, positive results from these platforms, you should understand how to use these platforms in the right way that will work for you. I come back again. If you want to, 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 to use these platforms to promote your brand, you need to have a clearer understanding of how to use these platforms that you'll be able to yield positive results. For me personally, uh, I don't use social media that much for pleasure. I use social media for profit because like, I understand that social media as a whole the revenue that um, individual in the u.s and other places they can generate from social media it's a lot so that depends on how well you understand these platforms and how you can make it to work for you facebook youtube uh, instagram all these platforms they are very effective although most people use it for pleasure socializing and you just name it but they are very effective for businesses very 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 effective so I'm just going to draw you quick through the three best platforms and say a few reasons why they are going to work for you if you use it 
the right way for your business. The first platform that you could use to market your product is Facebook. So I'm saying this mainly from a personal point of view and from my own personal experience with this platform. I know a lot of people might have uh, other platform in mind like TikTok and you just name it. But mainly, based on what I've experienced using Facebook to market, I feel Facebook is really effective for small businesses. Facebook is really effective, not just for small businesses, also for for big, bigger big businesses. Like you could use Facebook to market your product. So one reason is that one, Facebook has over two billion users or active users. So that tells you that from that two billion users, most of your customers might be there. Or that tells you that from that two billion users, you might be able to get out of new customers or you might be able to sway people to get attracted to whatever product or services that you are offering. So Facebook is a really effective platform. So again, just to bring you back a bit to uh, understanding what marketing is. So in marketing, you have two things. You have the, um, the B2B marketing and the B2C marketing. So basically the B2B marketing is business to business marketing. That is promoting your products, services, or whatever you are offering to another business. That is trying to get another business to find interest in what you are offering. So that is the B2B marketing. So the B2C marketing is the business to customers. That is trying to attract other new or existing customers towards your product. So you first need to understand those two kinds of marketing so that you can know who are the niche that you're moving towards, right? So coming back to the one that we focus on, which is the B2C marketing. So for the B2C marketing, if you are a startup and you want to reach out to more customers, Facebook is the right platform to get started with. There are two additional platforms that I will later talk about, but the first platform is you Facebook. So to begin with, it's easier. Facebook um, has the option where you can either create a personal account or business account. So if you create a personal account, you won't have access to uh, the marketing tool, which is the actual, the actual advertisement and what have you. So you will have access to those tools. But if you create your account as a business account, you have access to the entire um, creator studio. So Facebook will give you a studio where you can create uh, content and like optimize it, do whatever you want to do. So you have access to that entire studio. Even though your, your account is on a business account. And if your account is on uh, personal, you won't be able to run ads. But if it's on business, then you, you have the option to run ads if you, only, if you wish to do so. So the first step to get started, you first need to create your profile or create your account or sign up, I would say. So like you sign up and set your account to a uh, business. So you can use your own personal account to create a business account. What do I mean? If you already have an account on Facebook, let's say my name on Facebook is Achi Rogers. I have an existing account on Facebook and I want to create a business account. Or let's say I want to create um, a business page. Maybe my business I'm selling is called Achi or Ash Media Agency, for example. So to create Ash Media Agency, I can use my existing account to create another account. So that account will be set as a business account and I can use it for whatever I want, 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 I want to do. Facebook gave me the option to use it for marketing purpose. So that's the beauty of it. So the first thing, you set up your profile from your existing account, you create additional account in your existing account that you'll be able to manage. And the next thing you have to manage your account or your profile. And managing it comes along with how you want to include specific descriptions and and a few things that people will be able to 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 want to read on your page people want to be able to check your page up 
based on the kind of profile that you set up and next thing is posting things you post on that page so things you post should be things relating to what you are selling or what you are offering so that's when branding comes in branding is important branding is very very important you want to have uniqueness in what you do you don't want to just post random things you want to have your uniqueness with the kind of colors your color palette your font your your logo so these things should reflect in whatever you post so that people can have trust in your brand so when you're just posting random things and people like no one will want to to, to even go to your, your 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 account or your page but when people are seeing things that are very interesting it starts to gain interest so things you post should go in line with your branding and when you post whatever content the next thing is you make it shareable for people to be able to share whatever you post that's the next thing and when people share the more people share your content or the more people share your your post the more it gets visible to new users or to new customers the next thing people start to like and share so that's the actual engagement people start to get engaged with your content people start to get engaged with it and when people are getting engaged with it when your engagement level is high Facebook algorithms will be able to make that post visible to probably someone who is not following you. So that's how Facebook algorithms work. Let's take for example, if I'm on Facebook as Archie Rogers, I'm not following your, your page. And I'm friendly with this person named John Brown. And this John Brown, for example, he's following your page, right? And you share a content that is very like appealing and content that is so nice, content that is attractive. And he saw it maybe probably he liked your content but let's say he he did not share it but he liked your content he just liked it and he passed so what facebook algorithm would do in that case it will make that product or that content that john brown like to appear on my timeline because i'm friends with john brown although i'm not following your your page but because john brown like your your content it gets visible to me so that's how Facebook algorithms work. So if that content becomes visible to me and I probably like it, I might either like want to check your page to see, wow, this looks nice. I might either want to check your page, I don't want to follow you. Or maybe if I see some of the things you are selling, it looks good. If you have a website, I might check out your website. Who knows? I might purchase. So that's how Facebook works. So it's very important to know things you post that is the content on your business page so coming now to the actual marketing like promoting your content so that same content that you posted you can also make it visible even if uh if john brown does not like your, your, your post you can also make it visible to people who are not following you without their mutual friend liking that content so how it works is this it works through the paid advertising or paid advertisement so that's the one that you set up a budget how much to use every month or how much to spend every week on this content so let's say for example if I, I brought some some new uh, products let's say I'm selling hoodies and I want to promote my hoodies to a certain number of people so what I would do is this I'm gonna um, post like create some kind of catching uh, caption create catching caption like like post that is very appealing the branding everything is reflecting in that that post the graphics and you just name it then i create ads on that post let's say if i decide to spend like twenty dollars or ten dollars because facebook is very affordable ads but you can spend as low as five dollars let's say you spend five dollars like you set your budget of five dollars because obviously like if you're a startup you won't spend much so you set your budget of five to ten so you run that ads for like a week, for example. When you run that ads for a week, what Facebook would do is this. Facebook would make, because like usually Facebook has like a certain number of people, depending on how much you spend, that content will reach. So if you spend five dollars, for example, let's say your content will reach between 500 to 1,000 users. So if you spend five dollars, for example, with in that one week period 
for every time people view your your content facebook will deduct money from your budget like not just viewing it but every time someone view it and take action facebook will deduct money from your budget action in 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 in, in a sense like let, let's say for example if you have a, a website right and you run art and you include your website link so every time someone view your picture and they click that website link that person has taken action so that's how it works so facebook will make sure within that one week period so that that number of people can be able to see your post or your content so that tells you how important this marketing is or how important this platform is and it it, it, it depends because like in, in in running ads for every content that you do you have to make sure you narrow down your your description so that is where the seo comes in the search engine optimization you want to make sure that you narrow down your description but i won't go a bit into a search engine optimization for the next platform i'll explain i'll go a bit into it so that is where because for facebook seo it's automated so facebook does the work all you need to do just put in the right description so like let's say for the demographics facebook is going to ask you for the the sex like the gender of people you want to target if you want to target just male or you want to target both male and female facebook is going to ask you like for the age range facebook is going to ask you for the region where they stay because facebook when you provide those information facebook can be able to reach your content to that specific because that's where your niche comes in if you know your niche you know where to include and because like there are some people they only purchase certain product in the u.s some people certain product can only sell out in liberia some product can only sell out in qatar so when you know your niche you understand where they are you understand how old they are you understand who are they then you can narrow down their description before running your ads so facebook marketing is very important and one good thing about it is easy it's easy to understand it's easy to use you just need to get yourself familiar with it you just need to play around with tools that are there and you'll be good to go so that's it for facebook max platform so guys the next platform to promote your brand product services or whatever you are offering is instagram this platform is amazing just as facebook so um just what i explain when it comes to facebook marketing so like the same applies to instagram facebook and instagram like there are lots of things that they have in common there are lots of things that they have in common so just the same way you have access to marketing tool on facebook the same applies to instagram the same applies to Instagram. I think Instagram has up to, uh, I think, 1 million users or more than that, or probably 1 point something million users. I'm not sure of the figure, but yeah, they have pretty much uh, that. But Instagram is more focused on graphics. So that's the thing about Instagram marketing. Like graphics is like it's central, it's like top notch. So your graphics has to be very very good and the next thing here it's uh, <coughs> uh videos like that's a visuals in general so the kind of videos you create on instagram it's it, it should be pretty much good for instagram marketing just as facebook like you need to have a goal like why uh, what do you want to uh, achieve from this thing so you have paid advertisement that you can make use of to uh, promote your product so that it reach a wider audience so you can make use of that pay f uh, feature where you, you you spend that thing around the same five to ten or twenty or more than that depending on your goals you want to achieve so it's uh it's just pretty much it and one you have to establish a goal two uh that comes along with planning how do you want to implement this goal um your target audience who are those you want to uh to to see your your product so it's just the same thing the algorithms still work for instagram 
like your products become visible to new users depending on the engagement so depending on how people get engaged with your product your product become visible to new users. So I'll give you a typical example, how you, you can use or how you could use Instagram to market your product. Let's take for example, you have <clears throat> a restaurant, right? And you want to market, maybe you want people to know about your restaurant. You want to have new customers. Let's say the goal of it is to increase sales. So that could be your goal. The first thing you have to do is to determine the goal. Why do I want to run an ad? Why do I want to market a specific promotion? So the goal, if you have a restaurant, for example, the goal would be to increase your sales. So if you decide to run an ad, let's, let's take for example, right? Decide to run an ad. The first thing you establish is the rules. Let's say you establish a rules where you, you say, um, um, before this time, if this number of people can like this post, share it, uh, we select the winner within a week. Right. Let, let, let's just give that example. Let's say you say uh, we will select the winner from whoever share or like the post. So within a week, we'll come up with a winner. So you first establish the rules. You define the team. And the next thing you you use a uh, trending hashtag. Hashtag is a very important feature in marketing. So the thing about hashtag is it makes your content visible like I said it makes your content visible to um, new users so let's say for example if you are running or, or average or ads on uh, let's say on uh, on sportwares and you hashtag sportwares so people who are interested in sportwares Instagram will make that post visible to people that are interested in sportwares or people that already started talking about sportwares so that's how it work. That that's how it, it works. So making use of trending hashtag is important on Instagram as well. So if you have um, ads like that, you decide to run. Like you first have to establish the goal, which is to increase sales. You establish the rules, how this should work. Like you share the post, or let's say you comment on the post two times. Like you usually see that on Instagram. Like they will say, uh, the first five person to like this post will be selected to win iPhone this or to win this price. So they attach price to it so that people get more encouraged to participate in that rules. So most businesses, the essence of doing that thing is to increase their followers, one, and to make their product or whatever they are doing visible to new customers. So that's the, 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 the goal of doing that. So the next thing you see, they will come up with a strategy on how to select the winner and they go on promoting it and they track the content so once you run or ad, the next thing you have to track the engagement that's the next thing you have to know how this post is getting engaged how many people are taking action so you track it to know if your result is getting closer or if you are pushing towards a result that you wish to to to, to, to get so that's how it works Pretty much you having a goal like making sure that this goal comes in with a better planning and yeah you run the ads set up your budget and you'll be good to go so that's it for Instagram that just is like have a specific goal in mind and it's pretty much the same rules as Facebook so but the only thing like the both you in Facebook you have to create a goal in mind for every ad you need to have a goal then you track it that's it so Facebook and, and, and WhatsApp, they share almost like the similar uh, stuff in common. So, and again, you can run ads on Facebook if your account is linked to Instagram. That ad is going to reflect on Instagram. So that's the beauty of it because obviously, you know, Facebook is, is being owned by the same company, which is uh, Meta Incorporated, which was previously called Facebook. But now we all know it's no longer called Facebook. So it's meta, I think, incorporated. So, like I said, you can run your ads on Facebook. It's still going to reflect on Instagram, depending on if your two account is connected. So that that that's it for Instagram. So next we have LinkedIn. 
for the B2B marketing, like I previously talked about, which is the business to business marketing. So if you have a product or you have a service that you're offering to another business or to another company, then use the B2B marketing strategy, which is the business to business marketing strategy. And the best platform we recommend for that is LinkedIn, because LinkedIn it's more um, like a professional space where you interact with professionals. So if you want to deal with another business, then LinkedIn is the best way to go. So that's it for this video, guys. If you have any question, you can leave it in the comment box. We'll certainly reply to you. And also, I hope this video was helpful. And if you have a new brand, honestly, you have to play around with these platforms, play around with these tools, and like find the best possible way you can make use of it. It's more of user experience because these apps or platforms, they are user friendly, like I would say. And it, it, the experiences, it varies from individual to individual. Personally, these platforms that I just talked about, those are platforms that I've had, I've had a better experience with. That's why I say it's based on the experience I've had with these platforms. So I just hope this video was really helpful. If you've been struggling with your own marketing strategy, you've been struggling with um, the best marketing platform to use, you've been struggling with your own business as a whole in terms of the uh, digital presence, listen to this video and like you can play more than once and to, to be sure that you are following these um these things that i talk about and also be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel like this video and keep following us for more marketing tips strategy and you just name it thank you